Peggy 18. Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.4 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. Well, here we are again during the summer season. We have a request from James. Oh, request from James. That's me. <laughs> At least in this game. We have a request from Mayor Lewis to retrieve his shorts from Marnie's place. So, that can be actually done quite easily. The fun thing is that Marnie really does enjoy basic stuff like quartz. So if you keep giving her things like that, if you have a decent stock of it, you are pretty okay and you will pretty early in the game be able to actually raise your friendship with her enough so that you can get inside. However, one thing which I would really like to address is this. So I do know that there is an issue with basically how to manage the crops here. And my idea is to break apart these blueberries and instead move them here and another set of hop starter would be placed here. So I'm gonna do that and I'm also gonna water the crops. So stick around and I'll talk to you fairly soon hopefully. Okay, and I'm officially done with the watering. Also, this pickling jar was done, so I loaded in one strawberry to get more strawberry jello, despite the fact that I wanted to actually move the damn thing. So, since I actually loaded in the strawberry, I'm gonna leave it to finish off its work, and then I'm gonna move it away. Now, the fun thing which I wanted to talk about is actually a bit more regarding the fun I am having with the fish ponds. So, as you know, I have a separate file where I keep testing the fish ponds. And no, I'm not using any mods. Now, the fun thing which I wanted to talk about specifically, just due to the fact that I wanted to cover things like being able to make lucky lunches, for example, in case you want to go into the Skull Cavern. The cool thing about the lucky lunch is that you actually require blue jazz, tortilla, and one yellow sea cucumber in order to get the recipe completed in your kitchen. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to the recipe itself, you're going to obtain it, unfortunately, on the second year, during the summer season, I do believe. However, uh, despite all of this, what I actually found out was that once I was able to start making the lucky lunches, I was able to also mix it with the triple shot espresso which was super awesome because I got both the effect of having the uh, added luck and also the effect from well basically having the added speed on my character both at the same time which was truly amazing because the triple shot espresso lasts for quite a while and the lucky lunch lasts for really long time so overall I was really impressed and if I used the combo on even neutral day at the skull caverns I was just able to keep grinding through the levels fairly easily coming across shafts and ladders or having them already spawned in which was really fun now the unfortunate thing which I wanted to talk about is how you extracting fish from the fish ponds might actually affect the production from certain fish ponds. So for example, when I was pulling out the yellow sea cucumber out of the fish pond and I pulled out one just to see what will happen, it did affect the production of the row. However, on the next day, one of the sea cucumbers had been replaced. 
I unfortunately tried this multiple times to see if this would happen on every day and unfortunately I had some various results. So I tried removing one sea cucumber, two, heck even three at a time to see what would happen. When I removed actually three sea cucumbers, I actually did get the sea cucumber row. However, I did not get the sea cucumber to reproduce at least one of the missing sea cucumbers in the fish pond. So, I am unfortunately unable to specifically say that, oh, if you remove this many, you will be perfectly fine and it will not affect your overall production of the row or anything. You just have to keep experimenting on this on your own. Also, fun thing is that if you want to go with some specific fish, like for example, Dorado or some of the bigger fish, you might be expected to actually feed them certain fish species. Heck, some fish actually require you to put in a goddamn largemouth bass or something like this, so you will make have to make sure to have at least one of the chests prepared to store fish from various seasons inside of it so that in case someone will request two sardines or two anchovies and they only appear during let's say the spring and fall season and the request from the fish pond happens on the second of summer and you do not have a single unit of this fish stored away well then you have to wait all the way into the other season to actually get your hands on set fish and increase the population of the fish pond and as I talked previously when it came to the overall increase of population it's actually highly beneficial for you to try and work on raising the population as fast as possible just due to the fact that if you, for example, want to go with stuff like the sturgeon, it's super awesome to have them ready. Just because once you reach the full population, they keep producing the fish row on every day. That is, of course, unless you start experimenting with stuff like pulling out the fish. Because what happened to me was that once I started pulling out like one sturgeon or two sturgeon, the production of row was actually affected, so you will have to keep this in mind. Okay, I'm gonna plant the other mix seed, which I have here. I can go check on Marnie. She might no longer, unfortunately, be working at the farm. But it doesn't matter, because I still just want to give her the quartz. Also gonna have to take a look at the calendar to make sure nobody's birthday is today. So that I don't miss out on those valuable, valuable hard points. Is she here? Now, uh, okay, who, who was that? Ooh, that's Marnie. Yep. So she likes the quartz and eventually when you'll be grinding through the mines, you'll just have so much of it. You will be literally throwing it away. Hey guys, what's up? Unfortunately, I do not have a snail for Vincent. I do not have anything that both Jasmine and Penny would like right now. Sweet Pea is a cool thing when it comes to picking up. It's usually the one thing which you, during the summer season, collect the most of. Okay, tomorrow's Jasmine's birthday. So I'm gonna have to think of something to give her. This is a cool quest. I can potentially try and do this. It's also a lucky day, so why the heck not? The watering has been done. Today is unfortunately Wednesday, so I cannot go inside of Pierre's store and obtain more seeds. So that is something that I will need to do tomorrow. And the cool thing is that even if I will have to wait until tomorrow to get my hands on more of the hop starters and more of the blueberries, it's fine because if I get some of the speed grow as well, 
It's actually gonna affect the crops that you already planted anyhow. So even if you put your crops on the ground or just plant them on the ground, Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, so yeah, sorry for that. Anyhow, if you plant your crops, yeah, that, that's the proper English. Uh, you can still apply the fertilizer or the speed grow onto them. Now, what I found out was that actually trying to grind through or just trying to utilize the fertilizer for certain crops was not overall beneficial to me at the end as I was more interested in turning the crops into artisanal items unless I really needed some sort of money like if I had for example harvest of 100 gold star melons and I was totally broke and I needed money for more deluxe fertilizer or something okay I sacrificed the melons to actually get my hands on some decent chunk of change and the reason why I'm actually battling the bats is due to the fact that I will require bat wings in order to get my hands on the lightning rods and summer is the first season when you can do this we actually did get our hands on one bomb so I'm gonna drop it here this is gonna clear out a nice section of the map here even get us our ladder so that is awesome now unfortunately I need to slay some freaking frost slimes so I will need to keep looking for those. I keep killing these little fur balls because they keep dropping usually coal. That's the most often dropped item from them. The more rarer variant is the fact that they can drop something like a coffee bean. And it's still summer the third, so if I were to plant heck even one, I would get enough coffee beans to eventually put them inside of the greenhouse and then get more and eventually hopefully that would allow me to start off the second year with much bigger harvest okay it's actually kind of interesting that this is the second day or second level where I'm running into this many goddamn enemies Now, I don't mind killing them, it's just the fact that they keep going at me from all the angles. That's where I was struggling. We're gonna take the iron. I think we are missing a few more. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, we need to kill four more. Wow, okay, this level is just chock full of enemies, so I'm gonna have some fun here. Unless I'm gonna die here, of course. Even that can happen, potentially. The ghost is... really dangerous for me right now. The pos Well, the possibility of it dropping like the solar ascents is there, which I do appreciate. However, if I'm being surrounded from all the angles, Okay, for a lucky day, I'm actually not feeling that lucky. And it's unfortunate that, well, the bathhouse will not restore my HP, and I don't think I have that many things that will either. I would rather actually keep the crystal fruit, and I'm rather gonna eat the horseradish. It's true that I could have given it to, like... Linus to increase my friendship with him, but wow, okay, I'm just being surrounded constantly by everything, and with this horrible weapon, it's just taking forever to kill anything, and I do not appreciate being constantly harassed by the goddamn ghost. Oh, come on, I really need to kill the frost slimes. I can't guarantee what will be the luck tomorrow. But I will definitely be forced to come here and finish off the two more slimes. I unfortunately also need to leave because it's getting super late. I have not done that much. But once I'll get deeper into the mines and I will be able to get gold, I will start cracking out those quality sprinklers. 
So Crystal Fruit is awesome because if you get your kegs, you can turn it into the Crystal Fruit wine. That is awesome. The Winter Root is not that amazing, but honestly, if I would get... Well, the chances of me getting the Snow Yam inside of the caverns is minimal. Usually it does not get dropped by the enemy spawning in. But then I would be able to get the winter seeds and start off the winter immediately by having access to like 30 winter seeds and just keep growing and growing the crops. Okay, so from 4 mayonnaise jars we have 760 gold. That is the only earnings for today, but hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna get my hands on something else. Now due to the fact that today I will basically need to repeat the process of giving or killing the two slime jellies and since it's not really that much of a lucky day I hope there will be more of them so I will come across them a bit early so fun things which can happen here are a few uh, I do need to deal with Jasmine's birthday so I'm gonna kind of go into the wiki now and take a look at what she likes because honestly people I do not keep this information in my head at all the time I do apologize but yeah I mean person would think that me coming to the wiki so often and putting all those snapshots from the wiki page would be beneficial, but unfortunately, what can I tell you? Now, I do not have a fairy rose or pink cake or plum pudding, which are the gifts she loves, but I do have a daffodil. So I can definitely give her the daffodil. The cool thing about the summer season, if you want to increase your friendship with Haley, for example, is that once you start growing stuff like the sunflower, you don't have to turn it into the cooking oil, but instead you can give it to her. She loves those. I'm gonna water everything and I'll speak to you soon. So stick around and we'll see each other. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoor, forever free. Okay, so I'm gonna crack these blueberries, or basically just destroy them. I'm gonna rehoe this land over here so that I can get more blueberries in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have some actual hops here. I'm gonna take the hop starter. One, two, three, four. So we need two more. So I'm gonna go and get that. And we'll be able to plant it. I'm gonna also pick up the eggs from our lovely chickens here. What's up, girls? Where's the rest? You have so much free space here, I don't even know where to look for them. Okay, still working with the small eggs, but it's gonna take time for me to actually get to the larger ones. Which I do not mind at this time. Obviously the fun thing is that 
with the better axe you can get like better quality mayonnaise so that would be obviously nice thing to have but I'm not gonna complain that much anyhow let's see let's see let's see what can we work with let's actually sell the pickled cauliflower because while I was watering the crops the two pickle jars over here or the two preserve jars were done with the kale so I was able to load that into the collection box in here as you can see two pickled kale and now the pickled cauliflower so that will work amazingly for me and I kind of need to take a look at how many things did I put oh actually I will be able to make the entire summer foraging bundle dropped off at the community center that is unless I have not done that yeah I apparently did not do that yet so what I need to do today find Jasmine give her her birthday gift drop off the three items at the community center yeah so today is Jasmine Spiceberry Caroline uh, we might potentially look for one more so what do we need we need 10 1 2 cool thing about the corn is the fact that it grows for two seasons and if you want to get your hands on lucky lunch you will require corn to be turned into tortillas so I don't know I feel like I should get some corn actually as well we'll see right now I am NOT in the rush since it's just the fourth of the summer so I still have plenty of time now since it's summer the schedule with the kids is a bit different but they should still be at the museum hopefully and also I hope I will be able to drop off the items which I was able to pick up I really hope I'm gonna get my hands on more of the spice berries are the kids here with Penny no okay I'm gonna have to look for them then let's see what we can drop off wait which scroll is this anyhow it doesn't matter it's just I like to switch things around and now with the 1.4 update you are totally able to do that see Alex is going to his ice cream stand but I'm not gonna be buying any ice cream right now I kind of do not have any need for it as of yet really wonder where the kids are at really need to find Jasmine I don't want to miss out on giving her the gift on her birthday even if that increases my friendship with her just by one point but eventually in the fall season if I will be able to get my hands on something like the fairy rose yeah two points for a gift she likes not loves so it was a good call now what I can do is go back to the farm put in the two remaining eggs that I have sell the mayonnaise which I produced had into the skull cavern oh uh, skull cavern head into the mines kill the two more frost jellies and therefore hopefully I will still manage to get my hands on the reward for the quests which I picked up I was hoping there would be a spice berry here but oh okay cool good call good call to come here so we are looking for Caroline and I need to kill the two slimes right now because unless I am able to do it I will not be able to speak with whoever put up the quest now since the quest is formed like this it might be actually Lewis who put up the quest not necessarily the wizard himself so I'm gonna take a look at that but unfortunately I will see the result of that only after I am done and I thought I saw something here but it was just this little wheat turned into 
more bluish color. So anyhow, let's see if we can find Caroline. Now where can she be? It's still 3.30 p.m. so Pierre's store will be opened. Oh, actually, here she is. Beautiful. So that's 240 gold for an item which would never earn me so much money anyhow. And it actually helped increase my friendship with her, which is awesome as well. Now let's head into the mines and try and kill the two slimes. Also, since I'm coming across this area, I can drop off the forageable goody goodies and get another reward, which will be actually just the mix seeds for the summer season. But it's another bundle completed, so I do not mind. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but what I actually like to do is try and forage for as many grapes as I can throughout the summer season. That way, when the fall season comes in and I've managed to reach a decent enough level in farming, I'm able to make the seed maker and I start actually turning the original grapes from the summer season into the grape starters. And then I actually don't have to spend the money during the fall season for the grapes themselves, but instead I am able to actually just plant the grapes and then get a bunch of grapes which I then turn into wine. Is grape the best thing to be turned into wine? Well, no, not really. But, I mean, it still increases your farming level. I'm actually glad that I am able to find here the two slimes. So one will hopefully die soon. Here's the second one, so I kind of need to finish these two off. I'm not gonna stay here super long. I might pick up that freaking iron if I won't get killed by the goddamn ghost, which is annoying. Shoo, go away. Yeah, I just don't have efficient enough weapon to dispose of him fast enough. I'm gonna crack open this large rock just so that I can get my 10 stone. And now let's see... Slay the monsters. Yeah, you see, talk to Lewis. So, I was correct. Now it's six... six... Now it's 6 p.m. so what will happen is the fact that I will be able to most likely find him at Gus's place. Where I will be able to talk to him and collect the reward. Which is another money which I will earn plus it also increases the friendship points with the villagers. So it's definitely a good idea to do that unless you are able to produce all the items everyone loves in the town. And you are just able to run around and give everyone gifts while the sprinklers water your crops. I'm not sure if I actually dropped off a carp at the collections in the community center. I'm gonna have to take a look at it. Not really keen on putting a carp into the fish pond, honestly. The value of the carp itself is just horrendous. The green algae is definitely appreciated, and oh yeah, when it comes to talking about where to get green algae. Uh, so, in one of the previous episodes in the comment sections, we discussed this with one of the viewers. Uh, once again, thank you Mariela for the lovely comments and pointing out some of the fun stuff. So, the fun thing was that actually when I went to check into the oasis and I started casting into the small pond which is located there. I was able to get the most green algae ever out of that place compared to any of the waters in other place around Stardew Valley. Okay, did we increase yeah, I'm not sure if we increased the friendship, but 510 gold for 6 slimes is definitely a good deal. Also, I'm gonna take a look at the 
beach, although I kind of have full inventory, I'm full aware of that, but lucky enough for me, I still have the collection box over here. So I found out why it actually got destroyed. So the fun thing is that during the winter season, one of the ships is docked right over here. And I do believe that somebody like Pierre or anyone else is standing here because the bridge is located somewhere over there. So that is why it actually got destroyed. So I'm thinking if I move it somewhere else, it will actually survive the event. I'm not sure, however, how it will deal with something like, I don't know, uh, the Luau, for example. And speaking of the Luau, I kind of feel that I do not have anything good for the Luau, which I can drop off. The question is, what do I want to get rid of right now? Let's, let's sacrifice the sap, and let's rather pick up the sea urchins and everything else, and hopefully... Oh, yeah, I just realized I totally did not get more speed growth. So, okay, that's an issue on my end, but luckily on the next episode I will be able to fix that. Oh, yeah, uh, when it comes to me discussing the uh, crops and their overall quality, uh, like the rarer items, I actually stopped using overall stuff like the... Uh, fertilizer and instead I started using actually the uh, speed grow instead because I just had enough caggers and enough preserve jars to start pickle everything or turn it into the wine itself so yeah I might actually do that here as well I will see how it goes so far I unfortunately feel like I'm doing much more mistakes while I'm playing this file compared to the test file it's just the fact that trying to talk and trying to put some sort of decent content out is much harder for me than just trying to play on my own and see how the things turn out but yeah eventually I do plan on getting more speed grow for the blueberries at least that will be a definite help and I'm gonna have to think of some place where to put all these actual mixed seeds for the summer season. I mean, obviously I can put them here. They do not require the protection from the scarecrows. So I kind of can just go with 15 over here. And hopefully I will see you all on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one as well, it was fun hanging around with you guys. And yeah, if you like what I do here, maybe check out the link in the description. Uh, it will lead you to the channel itself, I have covered now a bunch of titles. And I keep posting videos on a weekly base, so you will always have something to watch. So, who knows, give it a shot, recommend the channel. And if you feel like there is some topic or something which I should cover during the videos, please leave it in the comment section and I would be more than happy to cover it here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs. But until then, I'm gonna wish you all the best and hopefully I will see you all soon. Till then, I will shut up and hopefully see you soon. So, bye bye everyone.